What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a convenience good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the BM Premium BM 2-pack of DMW BL G10 batteries and charger for Panasonic Lumix I picked up using Amazon Prime for $19.95. Out of five stars, this two pack of batteries and charger gets four and a half out of five out of 517 customer reviews. Today, we're gonna to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions to find out if these batteries are any good or if not better than the OEM Panasonic battery I have in this camera from the original purchase date. Uh, today, we're actually going to be looking at these batteries for use with the Panasonic Lumix DMGC x85 uh, this was about five hundred dollars it's a really inexpensive digital camera but what's really nice about it is it is an APS-C camera with an interchangeable lens and the ability to record 4k video so but what i actually noticed i really love about this camera is it's great for street photography uh, it actually came with a 12 to 32 millimeter lens which is an 18 millimeter equivalent if you're shooting in full frame uh, and it also came with a 45 to 150, but uh, what I've noticed is it's only good for about three hours of shooting. That's continuous shooting or 400 photos. Uh, and recently I've actually been wanting to take my photography to the next level and do uh, street work for uh, marketing companies in the area. So I'm definitely going to need a camera that can shoot for longer than three hours and take more than 400 photos. Uh, so what I did was I went to Amazon and I was looking at batteries and I came across the BM Premium 2-pack of batteries with the wall charger. Uh, from what I understand, they are OEM Panasonic batteries just rebranded and refurbished. But what's actually really interesting about these is they are actually better than the OEM battery uh, from a technical standpoint. These are 7.4 volts at 1200 milliamp hours as were the OEM battery at $45, which is double the price of this entire package here, is only 7.2 volts and 1025 milliamp hours. So you get two batteries that have 200 more milliamp hours and come with a wall charger versus the OEM Panasonic battery for double the price uh, with less milliamp hours, less voltage, and no wall charger. So. Yeah, today we're going to be doing a first impressions. We're going to see what comes in the box. We're going to see the quality of these batteries and we're going to actually compare them to the OEM Panasonic battery and just see if there's anything off about them. Uh, anything that just looks misaligned or mistyped or misrepresented in any way. We're going to take a look at that. And then at the end of the video to get a really thorough idea as to how these compare to the OEM battery, uh, we're going to actually do a little vlog style video. We're gonna go downtown uh, and we're gonna time ourselves and we're gonna see just how long we can shoot using the replacement battery and how many pictures we can take. And I'll, we'll go through that and it'll be fun. So, and I'll show you my pictures at the end because I do think I am a good photographer. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions and see if these are any good. So what came in the box was another box wrapped in this plastic wrapping here. What you can see actually is on the front of the box is a sticker with a barcode. It does say it is the BM2 pack of DMW BLG10 batteries for the Lumix. Uh, you should definitely check this little sticker if you're ordering something like this from Amazon and cross-reference what you ordered between what this sticker says, just so you don't have to open it and just so you can return it if it is the wrong item. Uh, but as you can see, it's a fairly small box here. Uh, what comes in the box from what I understand is just a wall charger and the two extra batteries. And as you can see here, uh, you get everything pretty much right on top. Everything is individually packaged here. There are instructions on the back of the box here that go over how to use the wall charger and everything is clear and concise and easy to read. Uh, these aren't a knockoff brand of batteries. They are just OEM refurbished batteries. But what's more important here is you can tell that everything in the box works with one another because you can actually see that the wall charger, there's a sticker on the box that says it can work with the Panasonic BLG10 batteries. And then if you actually look at these two boxes here, it actually says P2 
Panasonic Lumix lithium ion BLG10 battery right on the front. And there are care instructions on the back of each box for each respective item uh, and warnings and uh, actually a number for customer service if you have any problems. So, so I think we'll start off here with the wall charger itself. Uh, what's actually pretty cool is I think you get some adapters in there too, like if you're traveling overseas. Uh, you also get what looks to be a separate car charger here, which is actually a surprise to me. I was not expecting this. This should plug into your cigarette lighter in your car and then into the bottom of the wall charger here. The wall charger, from what I understand, has prongs that fold in, that flip out. I can pretty much take it along with me and uh, charge the additional battery. So there's two batteries that came. I think you know that, but you know, say if I forgot to charge one of them, but only charged one overnight and needed to take another battery with me and charge it while I'm on the way to a shoot, for example, I can do that. So uh, right side up, you can see the BM Premium logo. And what's actually really nice is you actually get a charge LED indicator light on the front here. So that should indicate that it's on, that it's working, and it should also indicate the level charge of the battery. So. So like I was mentioning earlier, what's actually pretty interesting about this wall plug here is this cradle for the battery actually slides off. And what's interesting about it is it's really just a plastic piece that holds the battery with some connectors on the back. So uh, this is pretty much just a simple piece of plastic to hold the battery that uh, slides onto the wall plug itself. And what's even more interesting is originally I had thought you had to remove that to get the overseas plug on. But if you actually just flip out the prongs here, you pretty much just slide the universal plug over the US prongs to get this to charge. So I will be using both, but just to make this video short and sweet, which I know you all love, uh, we're gonna just take a look at one battery here. So uh, it looks exactly the same as the Lumix. So I'm pretty happy here to report that they are the same size. Uh, you can also see that it is the DMW BLG Temp, which is exactly uh, what we get with the OEM battery here. It is a BLG 10 PP. Uh, this doesn't say PP, this does say PP. So not sure what the designation difference is there, but if you actually look at the specifications here, uh, they're in bright blue lettering on the BM Premium battery and they're in white on the Lumix battery. Uh, you can see that the Lumix is a 7.2 volt, 1025 milliamp hour lithium ion battery cell. And the BM Premium is a 7.4 volt, 1200 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. So, and last but not least, I think what's most important here is if we take our Lumix, this is the DMC GX85. We'll go ahead and just slide the BM Premium battery in there. And we'll go ahead and turn the camera on. Now you can see what's actually really nice is we do get a green LED indicator light at the top. And as you can pretty much see here, the camera is on and working. So uh, we can actually maybe go into our photos here and I can actually play back some of my other photos. Uh, so that's working well. So uh, the electronics of the battery itself are not interfering with the functionality of the camera. That's good to see. Uh, actually, I have the lens cap on there, so you can actually see that it's working fine. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll definitely have to take this out and see just exactly uh, how long these last. Okay guys, so now that we've done the unboxing and first impressions, what I can tell you what I really love about this entire kit here is the additional car charger. I was not expecting that, but what I think I'm most excited about here is that BM Premium does seem to be a legitimate company, a legitimate brand. It seems like they just buy OEM batteries and refurbish them, so that's really awesome to see. What's also really awesome is you do get some additional milliamp hourage with the BM Premium batteries compared to the OEM battery at half the cost. So the OEM cost of a Lumix battery is 45, 50 bucks. You don't get the wall charger, it's just the battery. Here you get the two batteries and the wall plug and the car charger, so really awesome deal. But what's really gonna be most important here is how they perform out in the field, right? I do live here in Fort Myers, so we're gonna go to downtown Fort Myers it's a great place to take photos. 
Uh, it's actually a pretty historical little town, brick pavered streets, coffee shops, restaurants, uh, little art shops with really cool art type stuff. Uh, and as you might know from history, uh, Thomas Edison, the guy who invented the light bulb, and Henry Ford, the guy who invented Ford Motor Company and the assembly line. And I also believe another guy by the name of Firestone, you might know him from the tire company, all lived here in the early 1900s. So it's a really cool historical town with a lot of character and flair. Let's go ahead and test out these batteries in the field and see how well they perform. All right, guys, so here we are. We're in downtown Fort Myers. Uh, behind me is the brand new Luminary Hotel. They just built it. Uh, but today we're gonna see just how long we can take photographs for. I do have the BLG 10 BM Premium battery in my Panasonic Lumix camera here. Uh, like I mentioned previously, this camera is great for street photography. So today that's what we're gonna be focusing on. We're gonna get some pictures of some cool cars. And then last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and set this timer here. It's at zero seconds. Uh, the camera is at a full charge. I'm expecting to get about 600 shots. I'm expecting to shoot for about four hours with this new battery. Without further ado, let's go ahead and commence this field test of the BLG 10 battery for my Panasonic Lumix. I picked up for 19.95. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right guys, so what I'm actually doing is I'm actually setting a timer for 30 minutes. So every 30 minutes, I'm gonna check in with you guys, give you an update on the battery and how many shots I've taken. I'm sitting here at the Hotel Indigo room uh, with actually these really cool old school photos of Fort Myers behind me. But as you can see, looking at the camera here, we've got about three uh, bars of battery. Uh, I've been shooting for, like I said, about 30 minutes. So I'm going to set the timer every 30 minutes and then check in with you guys. But uh, we've got three bars here. I've taken about 100 photos probably. So I think it's shaping up to be pretty good. I'll check in with you guys in another 30 minutes and then uh, we'll see just where we're at then. See you soon. All right, guys, so here we are, we're at the 30 minute mark. I've taken probably 50, 60, yeah, probably 50 or 60 more photos since the last time I checked in with you guys. Uh, if we actually take a look at the camera here, it is at two bars of battery. It is pretty hot out. Uh, I mean, it's probably mid 70s, uh, low 80s, but uh, you know, when you're walking around and your hands are sweating and you're holding onto the camera constantly and taking photos constantly, uh, the body of the camera actually gets pretty hot. So almost like if you were walking around holding a chocolate bar, right? It would probably melt. So I'll set the timer for another 30 minutes and then check back in with you guys. Uh, just to be clear, this camera has not been turned off whatsoever at all today. But one thing I do want to quickly point out is when I actually take my photography, I do turn the display off. Uh, right now I have it on just to show you the percentage of the battery, but uh, when I am taking photos, the display is off. So if the display were on, surely I would have much less battery power than I have now. So that's something to keep in mind. I do like to use the viewfinder. So with that being said, I'll check back in with you guys in another 30 minutes and uh, we'll see what kind of shots we come out with and see how many shots we can get and how long we can uh, take photos for. Also, before I go ahead and uh, sign off here and come back, uh, I just want to quickly point out here I am still timing myself and we are currently at one hour and three minutes. We're looking at one hour and five minutes or no. Yeah, one hour and four minutes actually. I'm sorry, I was looking at the other, but you can see here the time we've been shooting for a little over an hour. So see you in 30 and we'll see how everything's going.
All right, guys, so it's been the 30 minute mark here. I've been shooting for about an hour and a half now. Uh, I, the timer actually just went off on my phone, so I decided to pull my uh, phone out and take video for you. But uh, here, as you can see, uh, we've got about one bar of battery, taking maybe 250, 300 photos here today. Uh, so I've got about one bar of battery left. Uh, which is pretty good uh, so we're nearing the uh, 300 mark uh, we've been shooting for an hour and a half it's pretty hot out today so uh, you know I'm not really uh, gonna be all that critical but as you can see here we've been shooting for an hour and 40 minutes uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and set the timer for another 30 minutes and when I get back in 30 minutes uh, I expect this battery to pretty much be dead So anyways guys, as you can see, uh, I actually set the timer for about 30 minutes, five, maybe six or seven minutes ago. Uh, if we actually just take a look here at the camera, uh, you can pretty much see uh, that it is dead here. So uh, we shot for about an hour and 45 minutes here, as you can see on the clock here, uh, give or take, you know, three or four minutes, but an hour and 45 minutes. Uh, not sure how many shots that equates to, but uh, when I get home, I'll definitely give you a head count once we get all the photos uploaded. So yeah, I think this camera performed pretty well. It was a pretty hot day. The camera is hot because I have been holding it and shooting with it continuously, but I am a little bit disappointed that I was only able to get uh, close to two hours with it. I think the OEM battery could have gone just a little bit longer, but without further ado, we'll go home and see how many photos we were able to take and then uh, we'll make a better decision afterwards. All right, guys, so we finally made it back here. As you can see, the camera's off. Uh, I tried turning it back on and no battery power remains. But luckily, because uh, my iMac does take an SD card here, we're gonna go up to Lumix and we're just gonna pretty much see uh, how many photos we took today. So here are all the photos I took today. Uh, a pretty good amount as you can see. Uh, let's go ahead and just highlight all of them here and see what we get. So if we go ahead and just drag them, oh, screwed that up. So if we just go ahead and uh, drag them out, I think it was 218, yeah. 218 photos we took today. So uh, about an hour and 45 minutes worth of shooting, uh, continuous raw shooting. Uh, we took 218 photos. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and just get these into Lightroom here. And uh, yeah, so that's how many photos we took. Anyways guys, that is going to do it for this unboxing and first impressions of the BM Premium BLG 10 battery pack with wall charger. I picked up using Amazon Prime for $19.95. Out of five stars, this battery pack with wall charger gets four and a half out of five out of 517 customer reviews. I really hope you enjoyed the field test portion of this video. As you might recall, I was able to get about an hour and 45 minutes and about 215 shots using the backup battery. Remember in the package, there were two batteries and a wall charger, not just one, but I did only test one to compare it to the OEM battery. This battery here is rated at 7.4 volts and 1200 milliamp hours. So I was a little bit disappointed that uh, going out and putting it through its paces and stressing it out as much as possible and trying to shoot with it for as much as possible, I was only able to take about 200 photos. For 1995, is it really worth it? That's gonna be a question you're gonna have to ask yourself. Uh, but one thing I am happy to report on here is BM Premium does seem to be a legitimate company. Uh, you can call customer service if there's any problem. And for the most part, uh, there were no issues turning on the camera or taking pictures or going through any of the features. So the uh, functionality of the camera was not thrown off by a third party battery. Let's just call it that. It actually wouldn't be a bad upgrade and investment to go for something like this for $20 you get the wall charger and you get the car charger and you get the two batteries. And what's really awesome is the wall charger 
does work with the OEM battery. So yeah, you actually get some added convenience and some added value here. And like I said, you can distribute the wear and tear over your OEM battery evenly across all three batteries. However, uh, that being said, because I picked this up using Amazon Prime, that does make it a convenience good. Before I go ahead and close this video out, go ahead and check out our merchandise store. There's some really cool stuff on there. I'm also thinking about maybe doing some of my own work on there. I might get plain t-shirts and embroider some of the lettering on it myself. Uh, I might just use like a hot iron, for example, on an ironing, ironing board and just sort of steam stamp lettering down onto the shirt. And I also might tie dye the shirts myself and then get them uh, embroidered or lettering on them. So you let me know what you think of that. Uh, I would love to make things for you guys and sell them for you guys so that I can support this channel and get more cool and interesting products on here to review in a box for you guys. Anyways, without further ado, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Hit that like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. We are coming up on a really cool milestone. This channel is close to 2,000 subscribers. And in addition to that, we are close to passing 8 million lifetime views on this channel. Without further ado, guys, go ahead and like this video, subscribe, share. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. I will see you in the next one.